So you want to know what it costs you to live in beautiful Naples, Florida. What's up everybody? My name is Steve. I'm a local real estate broker here in Southwest Florida and today we're going to be talking about the cost of living in Naples, Florida. In this video we're going to be talking about the medium house pricing compared to the United States as well as Florida in general as well as the cost of rentals, utilities and much more as well as some hidden things that you might not know about moving to Naples, Florida. Oh yeah, and if you're interested in Florida, be sure you subscribe to this channel because we bring you to a lot of area attractions throughout the state. All right, so let's talk about real estate and how much it costs to buy a property in Naples, Florida. As you can see, compared to the average, the United States medium home price is 231,000. The state of Florida is a little bit higher than that, which is about 237,000. And Naples, Florida is 323,000 for the medium price to purchase purchase a home. I know it might sound high compared to the, the rest of the state as well as the United States, but I can tell you Naples, Florida is beautiful. There's beaches, there's sunshine, there's incredible weather, and uh, it's just a very nice clean place to live. Now if you're not quite ready to buy yet, let's check out the rental numbers in Naples, Florida. On average, the studio is going to run you about $855, a one bedroom just over $1,000, um, just under $1,100. Two bedroom, about thirteen fifty. A three bedroom, just under eighteen hundred dollars, and a four bedroom, on average, just around two thousand dollars. All right, so let's take a look at uh, utilities in Naples, Florida. A lot of Florida is powered by Florida Power and Light (FPL). On average, you can anticipate a three bedroom, two bathroom house to run you around one hundred and fifty dollars per month, depending on how cold you want it inside your house with the AC running. If you're on city water sewer, same kind of house, three bedroom, two bath, on average it's gonna run you anywhere from 75 to 125 per month. But keep in mind a lot of houses are on well and septic so you don't pay for water sewer. Cable internet, big cable provider out here is Comcast. We also have CenturyLink as well as Dish. And uh, cable and internet, you're gonna run about 100, $125 per month. Also throughout Naples, Florida, you're gonna find many communities do have associations and association fees at that. So a lot of times these expenditures are gonna be included in those association fees. So if you are looking to purchase and there is a fee associated with that association, be sure that they break it down for you exactly what's included in the association fee so you get a good idea of what your monthly expenses would be. Now groceries in Naples are about 17% higher than the national average, but I can tell you there's a lot of uh, grocery chains out here that are very unique, some unique with uh, really different kind of experiences including even wine bars inside the establishments. Now going out to eat in Naples, if you want a decent restaurant to go to, I figure anywhere about $25 to $35 per head for an entree. Now that's not gonna include any beverages and or tipping out the, uh, the waiter or waitress. Now the health costs in Naples, Florida is pretty much in line with the national average and something to be known about Naples, Florida, there's a big abundant amount of ALFs, which are assisted living facilities, and a ton of urgent cares and hospitals throughout. Transportation in Naples, Florida is actually about 20% less than the national average and I think mainly due to our public transportation, they really set up the infrastructure really well with a lot of the public transportation that is provided. Now one thing to keep in mind, but don't let it deter you from moving to Naples, Florida, is we do have a consumer sales tax. So really any goods, you're gonna be taxed 6%. Now recently, Collier County did pass a 1% tax increase on that. So the state of Florida is getting 6% and then Collier County is getting an additional 1%. But keep in mind, there is no income taxes in the state of Florida. Now last thing I want to cover is the homestead exemption. Many states do not have this and it is a, a bigger incentive for people to go ahead and buy real estate in Naples, Florida. So essentially if the property you purchase is going to be your homestead where you're going to live six months or more, you can homestead that property, file for homestead exemption, which is actually going to give you a discount on your real estate taxes. Also you can apply for Save Our Homes, which basically limits the amount that your taxes can increase per year. As mentioned, my name is Steve. I'm with the Beach Brokers at Maxim Realtors. If you are considering moving to Naples, Florida, or Florida in general, let us know. We do have a good network of real estate agents, real solid people throughout the state that we can refer you to as well if it's not in our local area. And uh, go ahead, hit the link down below and check out some of these other videos that we have on different area attractions throughout Florida. We appreciate your support, thanks.